Representing the 31 to 53 foot class in the center console category, the Boston Whaler 330 Outrage has an overall length of 33 feet 1 inch, a beam of 10 feet 2 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 700. Built for blue water, she has a draft of 22 inches, a dead rise of 23 degrees, a dry weight of 9,000 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 300 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts, Dave East and Rick Riles. All right, now we're going to take a look at the Boston Whaler 330 Outrage. And you know, what we try and do in Best Boat is help somebody pick the right boat based on the mission that they want to accomplish. And looking at this boat, I guess the mission would have to be lifestyle, because no matter what your lifestyle is, whether it's fishing, cruising, you know, taking the, the family out, the boat will adapt to your lifestyle. It is adaptable, but you blew right past what's important to me. If you ask half the people in the United States to name an American boat company, what would half of them say? Oh, this, Boston this, Whaler. Absolutely. Boston Whaler up. started it in 1958, Dick Fisher. The old Life Magazine article with the boat cut in half. Mm -hmm. Remember that one? Oh, yeah. The boats were unsinkable then, they're unsinkable now. It just kind of sets the standard for the genre of boats that they are. Look, the Coast Guard mandates, if the boat is 20 foot or under, you have to have foam upright level flotation. Above 20 feet, a boat manufacturer doesn't have to put foam in. Well, that's not good enough for Boston Whaler. Not only do they put foam in the boat, just what you were saying earlier, unsinkable. Let's look at the details and the features of this 330 because it's absolutely beautiful. All right, we're gonna start up here in the bow. And a lot of the boats that we see obviously have bow sitting. That seems to be a theme that we're seeing in all the boats. But when you look at this, at first it looks small, but really there's plenty of room. They've inset the backrest, gives you a lot of room, but yet it still gives you plenty of room here in the cockpit. They've addressed needs of the fishermen, they've addressed needs of the person that's gonna use the boat for cruising, and neither one had to sacrifice. Let me tell you something exciting. And in as many boats as you and I look at, we don't see a lot of things that we really go wow about. The way they've got this thing engineered is really gives it a wow factor. Well, it, they've combined a lot of storage in here of a lot of different things. You've got tank holders in here, you've got rod holders in here, you've got plenty of room to put another cooler down in there for ice, you got areas to keep your buckets in place. What they've done is, just like their bow seating, they gave this a lot of thought and it's got multiple purpose. Dave, it's a Leatherman, okay? You want to lay a half a dozen seven foot rods in there? They fit all the way through into the console. This box was not made, it was engineered. It was, but you know what else too? If you're taking a long cruise, there is not gonna be anything more comfortable than coming up here, laying down on that lounge. I'll let you drive the boat, I'll sit up here, and when we get to where we're going, just come wake me up. As long as I don't get lost, we'll be all right. <laughs> Most people are, can't imagine the difference. When you're running offshore, it can be choppy. As long as you're dry, you're pretty comfortable. But once that spray starts hitting you in the face, it's a whole new ball game. That's not gonna happen when you build a wraparound windshield like this that actually encloses you. That pretty well protects you from the weather. You've got the advantages of a pilot house, but the function of a center console. Do you know that Boston Whaler has built a Rick and Dave edition helm station? <laughs> I gotta show you this. But what it is, Dave, is an elevated helm deck. So when I stand up here, I actually tower over you, kind of like I do in real life. <laughs> But let me tell you something, what it addresses is line of sight. And people don't understand how huge that is. It's nice to have a big boat, nice to have a high bow, but you need to be able to see what's in front of you all the time. You know, you mentioned a word early when we first started talking about the Boston Whaler 330 Outrage, confidence. It gives you that. You have that sense when you're at this command station. The seat that you're leaning against, this boat has a lot of fishing features in it. This seat is not one of them. This reminds me of a luxury car. It's absolutely beautiful and it is extremely comfortable. It may not add to the fishability, but it certainly adds to the comfort getting you there. Well, we've already seen a lot of innovation on this Boston Whaler, but we're not done yet. Let me show you something back here that I think you'll like. The mezzanine seating you're always talking about where you can watch your baits, but when you're ready to rig your baits, or a picnic lunch, look at this. Nice big fold out table. It has a lot of multiple uses, but when you don't want it, it's out of the way. It's completely out of the way. That is, that is well, wait, here we go again. That is well engineered. That is designed in perfect place. You know that if I was running this boat and we were fishing, I'd have my people sitting right here. But you're right, we're gonna take a break, we're gonna make lunch, that's it. Well, you've got drinks under here, or you can use this for a small fish box. 
And another thing too, look at the size of this cockpit. I fished on some 35 foot sport fish. They don't have a cockpit this large. Anything you want to do in this boat is capable of doing. So if a guy really doesn't know exactly what he wants, does he want a fishing boat, a family boat, a cruising boat, he doesn't have to decide. 33 foot boat, it'll do it all. It'll fish, it'll dive, it'll cruise, it'll take the family out. You don't have to make a choice. This boat will cover it. anything you want to do on the water.